We hear about it all the time, an undrafted kid who bounces around the league just waiting for a chance, and when they finally get there, prove why they deserve the roster spot all along. Today we will be talking about how Colts wide receiver Zach Paschal did just that in his incredible journey to the NFL. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe. I really need your help to make this channel grow, and I need your help to hit 1.8k subscribers by the end of April. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button and check out all my other videos. Now let's get started with the rise of Zach Paschal. Paschal was both the Indianapolis Colts' best statistical and most consistent pass catcher in 2019, but his journey to get here was even more impressive. Unlike most NFL players, Pascal wasn't the star from the very beginning and had to take the longer path to the NFL, but hey, it would end up working out for him. Pascal was born in the small town of Upper Marlboro, Maryland, after his family was originally from the country of Granada. His family knew the importance of education and would use football to motivate him to get him excited about school. When he was younger, he wrote a letter to his mom where he said he wanted to get a 1400-something on the SAT, play for a Division I football school, and eventually play for the New York Giants. His mother would pray every night that it would happen for her son. His peewee coach told him that he would play in the NFL someday, and Zach avoided anything that could limit him from reaching his goals. He even came home crying one time because he almost got in a fight. Yeah, he was that scared that it would ruin his career, and it proved how dedicated he was. Sadly, Pascal was not a highly regarded recruit, and according to 24-7, his only offer coming out of high school was Old Dominion. There isn't a ton about his recruitment out there, but it seems that Zach had good grades and got to a Division I football school, so the only thing left for him to do was to make the NFL. Old Dominion, a small school located in Virginia, had just begun its transition from FCS to FBS. Traditionally, the Monarchs were an FCS power and became part of Conference USA due to their success. They officially joined Division I in 2014, so they had one more season to play at the FCS level. Under only their second coach in program history, Bobby Wilder was expected to help the Monarchs transition to FBS football and decided to redshirt Pascal his freshman year. Zach was originally recruited to be a corner for the Monarchs, but he was convinced to become a wide receiver. As a redshirt freshman, he had an immediate impact for the team as he was the fourth best receiver with 41 catches for 534 yards and 6 touchdowns. He helped lead the team to an 8-4 record where they would win every single FCS game and only lost the four FBS teams. Head coach Bobby Wilder was named the Independent Coach of the Year, and quarterback Tyler Heineke was the Offensive Player of the Year. As a sophomore, Pascal became the team's second best receiver as he finished with 59 catches for 743 yards and 7 touchdowns. In their first year in the FBS, the Monarchs went 6-6 in Conference USA, but were not eligible for a bowl game. As a junior, Zach had his best season statistically as he caught 68 passes for 970 yards and 8 touchdowns. His team went 5-7, but Pascal's dream of making it to the NFL was not that far-fetched anymore. Going into his senior year, his head coach knew that he would have the ability to play in the NFL, so he started training Zach to become a really good special teams player and a receiver who could block in the running game. His coach knew that if he were to make it to the NFL, he would be a fifth-string guy. As a senior, Pascal led the Monarchs to a 10-2 record and their first ever bowl appearance in FBS history. They'd gone to beat Eastern Michigan in the Bahamas Bowl, and it was a really good way for him to end. As a senior, Pascal's numbers slightly dropped as he only caught 65 passes for 946 yards and a career-high 9 touchdowns. The reason his numbers dropped a bit is because not only did he play receiver, but he also played wildcat quarterback, tight end at times, and even running back, while also being the starter on special teams. Zach had become one of the best receivers in school history, and was well on his way to having a chance to make it in the NFL. Thankfully, Pascal would get the opportunity to show his skills to all 32 NFL teams as he was invited to the NFL Combine. But sadly, his numbers were not very impressive, so he likely wasn't going to be drafted. Scouts were right as Pascal did not hear his name called, but his relentless work ethic, talent, and passion would give him a fighting chance to make it as an undrafted free agent. He ended up getting picked up by the Washington Redskins, but in September, he was cut. He was then picked up by the Tennessee Titans practice squad and eventually worked his way onto the main roster. It had finally looked like things were on the way up for him, but nope, he was handed another setback. He was cut, but less than 24 hours after being cut, Colts general manager Greg Ballard picked up Pascal and he ended up making the main roster. Just like the coaches thought, he played special teams and helped block in the run game. With his first year with the Colts, he actually got to play some meaningful snaps as well, and he go on to catch 27 catches for 268 yards and 2 touchdowns. Going into 2019, Pascal was not in a good spot. With T.Y. Hilton, Devin Funchess, Paris Campbell, Deion Kane, and Darius Fountain looking to be the main guys, Pascal was on the outside looking in. Everything changed when Darius Fountain got injured a few weeks before the season, and he knew he was going to be the fifth guy at least. 
After that, Kane, Funchess, and Campbell all got injured, and as the season progressed, his role with the team was getting bigger and far more important. Once T.Y. Hilton went down, Pascal became the Colts' best receiver and had his breakout game against the Houston Texans. In that game, he caught six passes for 106 yards and two touchdowns. Not only did Pascal solidify himself as a piece for the Colts going into the future, but he also became the team's best receiver in 2019 with 41 catches for 607 yards and five touchdowns. Pascal ended up getting extended another year and made close to $500,000 in bonuses. I fully expect him to ball out in 2020 and I'm really excited to see what he's going to do. He likes to say he's part of the 8th round gang and it's truly inspiring to see what he has done. Oh yeah, and he can also check making the NFL off his list. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm a Colts fan myself, so I was really excited to share this one with you guys. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you are new, I'll be doing a ton of videos like this, so be sure to subscribe and help me reach my 1.8k subscriber goal by the end of April. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and in the meantime, be sure to check out all my other videos, and until then, peace.